Hello and welcome to John's Author Diary for the week ending September the 22nd, 2019. I've had a busy week. Last Sunday I launched the Books 1 to 11 box set of the Ravenglass Chronicles. And so I've been doing a lot of things this week to get that out to as many readers as possible. So doing things like setting up Facebook ads and Amazon ads and cross-promotion with other authors. It's working so far. It's currently the number one new release in teen and young adult historical fantasy. And it keeps hovering around the top 20 in quite a few teen and young adult categories on Amazon. So that's a good start. It's just something that I hope that I can keep up. So as well as that, I've also been writing at The Fool. So I have finished that now. I've now sent it to a couple of beta readers just to get some notes on the story. And then I've also been doing the feedback for my book, The Stoic Writer. So there's actually a week coming up, which is called Live Like a Stoic Week. And this is from the 7th of October. So what I'm hoping is that I can have a really quick turnaround on this book now with the edits and things like that. Get it proofread and hopefully get it out there on a week where a lot of people are talking about stoicism and things like that. So perfect timing. Hopefully I'll be able to just get everything sorted and finished. I've also been outlining a new story for an anthology that I've been invited to. So this is basically retellings of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I was trying to think about which of my worlds to set it in so I could have it as a bit of a spin-off story to something else that already exists. So I think what I'm going to do is write another Lord Sidebottom story. So this is basically comedic steampunk. I really like the character. I actually performed the story on Friday at a place called Story in Lancaster. So this was their spotlight event. So I'm looking forward to actually getting a new story out and doing that. Now, of course, this is all a bit of me putting off finishing writing The Hanged Man. And I know this. So I'm trying to just have this in my head as book 12. It's just book 12. I need to work on that. I'm about a quarter of the way through my outline. So I'm about 4,000 words in. When I rewrite, when I do my redrafts, I always add words as well. So it will come together. I just need to be in a headspace where I can do it. I also need the house to myself. So all week the house has been upside down. We've had someone doing the kitchen. And so we've had hammering and banging and sawing. We've had electricians and gas people arriving. So it's been fine to just focus on writing the third draft of The Fool. But there's no way I could have done first drafting because I need that concentration. I need that headspace. I finished reading Fool's Assassin by Robin Hobb. I enjoyed the story. It started to pick up near the end. It took a while to get going. And I'm deciding whether or not to go straight on to the next book. I tend to find when I read Robin Hobb things, I either really enjoy them or really hate them. And usually if I enjoy them, then I just go straight on to the next book. So I've just finished, so I don't know yet what I'm going to do. Because this wasn't the best, it wasn't the worst. But I still enjoyed it. So finally, I just want to mention that I'm nearly done posting the rewritten version of Wizard of the Wasteland on Patreon. So you can check that out now for just a dollar a month. So, what's that? That's half a cup of coffee, if that. And you get access to articles, short stories. You get this a day early. So please do check that out. It's patreon.com slash John Cronshaw author. Next week, I'm hoping that I'll have my house back and that I can report that the first draft of book 12 is finished. So I'm putting that out there now. I'm accountable. I need to do it. So until next time, cheerio. (laughs) 